Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh How are you boys and girls? Welcome back in science class Today we are going to review about human skeleton Do you still remember about this? On the second meeting you learn about human skeleton We learn about human skeleton And this is your worksheet on the second meeting You have to name some bones in our skeleton Right? Do you still remember? Okay, let's try to remember about this, to review about this. Number one, do you still remember what bone is it? Do you still remember? Yes, this is skull or tulang tengkora. And then, what about this? Do you still remember? What does it call? This, this one is lower jaw or tulang rahang bawah. And then, what about this? Do you still remember? This one is collar bone or tulang selangka. And then, what about this? Do you still remember? This one is shoulder blade or tulang belikar. And what about this? Do you still remember? Yes, this one is called, it called ribs or tulang rusuk. And then, this one is vertebra or vertebrates or spines. Or in bahasa Indonesia, tulang belakang. And then, what about this? Just remember, this one is hips or tulang panggul. And then, this one is radius or tulang pengumpil. And then, this one, femur or thigh bone or tulang paha. And then, next is kneecap or tulang tempurung lutut. And the last one is tibia or tulang kering. Okay, do you still remember about this worksheet? Okay, this is what we had learned on the second meeting. On the third meeting, we had learned about why do we need skeleton. There are some function of our skeleton for our body. Do you still remember? Number one is our skeleton supports our body and give it shape. So we have shape like this. And then, like function is the skeleton protects our important organ. For example, the example is our skull protect our brain. And then our ribs protect our lungs and heart. So our lungs and heart still safe, right? This is the function. Of our skeleton for our body. On the third meeting, there's activity you have done on the third meeting. Do you still remember? You have measured your bones and your parents' bone, maybe your brother's bone. Yes, you measure your humerus and your femur, or upper arm bones and thigh bone. You measure. Okay. You measure and then you record in this table. Okay, do you remember? Next, after that, you have to make a bar chart about your uh, length of your bones. And then maybe your bones like the uh, your chart like this. Okay, from this chart, we can know that adult skeletons is much bigger. Then the child skeleton. I'm sure that your parent skeleton is much bigger, much longer than your skeleton. Is it correct? Yes. Okay. This is uh, our acti your activity. Then you have make your chart from this chart. We can that adult skeleton is much bigger than child skeleton. So from this activity, we can learn that we grow and get bigger because our skeletons grows can you compare your skeletons right now I'm sure that your skeletons right now is much bigger with your skeleton when you are baby you can see the distraction in this picture that we grow and get bigger because our skeleton grows yes that's uh, you had learned from the third meeting today to review uh, about human skeleton and why do we need skeleton there is activity this is fun activity 
you just need to coloring Mr. Bones. This is the worksheet that I'm sure you have got it in your lesson kit. Coloring Mr. Bones. Follow the instruction on the right side. And then color Mr. Bones. After that, if you have finished, you may submit it into Google Classroom or you may submit it when you are taking your uh, lesson kit for the next week. Okay, have fun for the, the executive activity for today. That's all for today. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.